I'll never say hi. today and it's always been a really special time of year for my family and I and so I just wanted to share a little bit about it. So my parents are Taiwanese immigrants who came to the States in the 80s. They came here to go to school and after they had my sister and I we stayed here for good. And so I grew up exposed to two totally different cultures, right? And even though there are obvious difficulties growing up as an immigrant family in the States, I ultimately feel really blessed because I was able to experience traditions and culture from two totally different sides. Um, Lunar New Year is one of those special traditions from my Taiwanese side, obviously. Lunar New Year is a holiday that a lot of different Asian countries celebrate and um, a lot of cultures partake in. Um, so everybody does it a little bit differently. Um, you know, there are roots that go back thousands of years. Holidays and cultures kind of evolve. And so I'm just going to share what my family and I do um, as Taiwanese Americans. Like I said, every culture does it a little bit differently, but there are some common themes across them. Um, some typical foods that a lot of people eat on New Year's are fish. If you eat fish, it's supposed to bring good luck and noodles are another popular one. So if you eat noodles, uh, because they're long, it's supposed to signify having a long life. There are other common ones like dumplings, uh, fruits too. So fruits that are popular are persimmons and oranges. And um, so yeah, it's really about the food, but also about the time you kind of spend preparing it together. When I was younger, we would make dumplings from scratch, which was really time intensive because make the, the dough and the flour and everything from scratch and then um, the dumpling innards too and then after you prepare both of those um, you kind of sit there and everybody uh, folds the dumplings together and cooks them. Now we're kind of all older and a little bit lazy so we usually just buy uh, dumplings pre-made. There are other traditions besides food too that um, a lot of people partake in. The most common one is probably the red envelopes so you've probably seen them a lot. They are usually given by older members of the family to younger members um, when they're kids, but as the kids and the younger generation grows older, um, usually it reverses. So the children, once they're married or how they have jobs, they'll prepare red envelopes to give to um, the elders or their parents and grandparents. And so there are all of these traditions that people normally take part in on Lunar New Year, but for me, the most important thing is really just getting time to spend with my family and my friends. Um, just hanging out together, cooking together, eating together. It's just a good time of year to be with family.
So Lunar New Year actually celebrates a different animal from the zodiac each year and they're all in a specific order. Um, this year 2024 is the year of the dragon um, but there are other animals like the snake, the ox, rat, um, rooster and like I said they all come in a specific order and there's a lot of lore behind the order. The, and the one that I've heard most often when I was little was all of the animals were in some kind of race and the rat was in first place and the ox was in second and when they were nearing the finish line there was a river and the rat couldn't cross the river by itself and so it hitched a ride in the ox's ear across the river and right before they got to the finish line the rat jumps out of the ox's ear and gets first place and the ox gets second and then um, all of the animals I don't really remember the order, but that, that's kind of the, the most popular legend that I've heard. So in addition to some of the traditional things like eating and cooking certain foods, there are certain superstitions or taboos. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what to call them, but certain things that you are and aren't supposed to do around Lunar New Year. One example is you're not supposed to clean the day of New Year because it means you're kind of cleaning out your your luck and your, your wealth. Uh, so a lot of people clean the day before. Another popular one that I've heard is you're not supposed to wash your hair the day of and so um, it's better to wash your hair the day before and then on New Year's Day you skip your hair wash day because same reason you're kind of washing away your good luck or good fortune. I'm not superstitious. I am a little stitious, like Michael said. I I don't I try to follow those those things, but uh, I don't really beat myself up if I don't. Um, it's not the end of the world. Knock on wood. <laughs> so it's also really interesting to see how things are so different now compared to when I was a kid. Um, when I was younger and in school, kids would pull their eyes back and chant racist Asian slurs towards us. And it's you, and teachers would just kind of shake their head. If you did something like that now, you'd end up on the local news. Um, and so it's, it's really cool to see now how um, people have really started to embrace things um, that typically were outside of the mainstream in the U.S. Um, and so, obviously it's great that things are, are much better now, um, but I think when I was growing up, things like that did give me a lot of shame about my culture, which is really sad, but now that I've grown, obviously I've, I've embraced and, and I love who I am now. I actually made a short video about what it's like to grow up in an immigrant family recently, and it was inspired by this really cool show I watched called The Brother's Son on Netflix. And it was really awesome because the video that I made actually caught the eye of the casting director from the show. And she sent it to some of the um, cast from the show and they shared it out. And, um, and so a lot of different people got to see it and they got tons of comments and um, just people reaching out saying how what I made in that video about growing up in an immigrant family really resonated with a lot of people. So it was really cool. You can check it out on my Instagram if you, if you want. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to what I had to say. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Lunar New Year. Um, or if you knew about it, I hope you enjoyed um, listening to someone who also celebrates the holiday. And I'm also going to be making a lot more content this year, so follow along if you want. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Olive. Say bye. Say bye-bye.